You must have seen a lot of equal height solutions online. There are multiple plugins available, but today I'm going to show you one of the most powerful equal height extensions for Elementor, which is much easier for non-techies as well as for advanced developers. By using this powerful Elementor extension, you can make all process steps, icon boxes, service boxes, blog post, or any CPT post of the same height. Well, hello everyone, my name is Dave from the Plus Add-ons for Elementor and today we are going to explore the equal height widget which comes with two powerful modes, based on divs and based on unique classes. And we will be checking both of these methods and their benefits. Now don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel as we upload two new Elementor videos each and every week which will make you an Elementor master in no time. All right, so let's get started. And welcome to our WordPress dashboard. So first, let's take care of installing our plugins. So for this, we're going to plugins, add new, and in the search box, type in the plus add-ons. So this is the free version of the plus add-ons for Elementor. So as you can see, it's already installed and activated on our WordPress installation here, but all you have to do is to click install now and then activate it. And once you're done, we're going to go to the plus settings, go to widgets, and from here in the search box, look for equal. And if you scroll down the page, there it is, okay? We have equal height here. So there's a toggle switch next to it. Make sure it is switched on. Click save. And now we are going to clear the cache. So back to performance here, cache manager, purge all cache, select okay, and then save. And that's us all done for the initial settings. Okay, so first let's have a look at the issue at hand and see how we can fix it. So as you can see, we have a demo page here. So we have three different elements and they are all of different heights. So that doesn't look great, does it? So what we want to achieve basically is this. We want three sections of the same height, okay? And we are going to have a look at different sections as well, like this one here with different divs and also blog posts, etc., etc. Okay, so let me show you how we can achieve this. So let's go to our Elementor page. Okay, very good. So let me show you how this works. So here I've recreated a few different scenarios and I'm going to show you how you can apply equal height using two different methods. First, by pinpointing to the container levels or div in HTML and second, by using CSS classes. Okay, so let's start with our first method here by pointing to the container or div where you want to apply the equal height to. And to demonstrate this method, we're going to use two different examples. So we have a very first one here. If I click on this, as you can see, we have three different sections. They are not of equal height and they are part of one single widget. As you can see, process steps. And these are our three steps, great team, high performance and speed limit. So one, two, three. And again, they are not of equal height at the moment. And we have our second example here which is this one here. And as you can see, we have one, two, three, four different elements. And these are four separate widgets uh, called info boxes. Okay. So I'm going to show you this, how this works with the very first one. So let's go back to this. Very good. So let's click again on this section here. As you can see, this is a process step. So this is one widget. As you can see, all these elements are contained within the same widget. Now, let me show you how you can apply the equal height to those three elements here. Okay. So we're going to go into advanced, scroll down the page. As you can see, we have here equal height. This is the one we need. Open this and now we need to enable this. So enable. And as you can see, you can select among two different options. We have div level and unique classes. So like I said, first we're going to use the div level. So basically the container type. And we're going to go ahead with this one now. And as you can see, we can select the nested level and the sub nested level. So I'm going to show you in a minute how this works. So you can select among a few different options here. As you can see, I have level 1 to 10. And the same here, level 1 to 10 for the sub-nested levels. So how do you know which one to choose? Again, just to make it clear, we have two options here. We have nested levels and sub-nested levels. 
So let's identify our nested level first. And for this, we're going to go to our front end. We're going to have a look at our actual page. And again, as you can see at the moment, we don't have equal heights. And to identify our level, we are going to right click on one of those sections here. So let's select the first one, right click on it. And as you can see, we have inspect here. So it is advisable to do this method using maybe Firefox or Chrome. This would work absolutely fine. We are using Chrome at the moment. And if you click on inspect, it will show you the code, the source code of this page. Okay. So our code here is divided in two halves. So we have our HTML code here and here we have our CSS code. Okay. So the one we're interested in at the moment is the div section. So this is an HTML element. So this is the one here. Okay. So now we need to locate our main container, our main Elementor container that contains this widget. So this is the very first step. So how can we find that container? Very simply, let me show you. So we right clicked on this one. And as you can see, this one is highlighted in gray. So this is the element we were looking for. Now, this one is contained obviously within another section, a main Elementor container. So where is that container? What we have to do basically now is to go upstream and find the main container. So that's, this is what we're gonna do. If you use your mouse here and hover on top, as you can see, we'll show all the different elements, all the different sections. There you go. And this is basically our main section. This is our widget. And if we go up one more step, as you can see here, we have an Elementor widget container. And this is our main container. This is the one we need to locate and identify. Now, if I click on it, as you can see, our section has been selected. OK, so what I'm going to do just to show you just for a visual aid, I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to add a little a note here. OK, a blue, a blue dot. So this is one. So what we need to find out now is how far down the line is our widget located? So as you can see here, we have two different types of arrows. This one is pointing down. This one is pointing down. This one is pointing down as well, which indicates that these are main section, main containers. And then it breaks down in two different sections. Again, we have this one pointing to the right and again here, you know, so this is basically how this works. So we have one, two and three different containers. So if I mark them very quickly now, just to show you, I'm going to add a little dot again to on those three. So these are basically three different nested levels. So if you go back here to our uh, widget itself and for our nested level here, we're going to select three. OK, just like that, because we have one, two, three different levels. So if I click on our third one here, as you can see, it's breaking down in two different sections. We have the first one, which is this item here, and the second one, which is the one that we want uh, to apply the equal height to. OK, so as you can see, we have one, two different levels again. OK, as you can see, our main level broken down into diff two different levels and is the second level to which we want to apply our equal height. OK, so we go back here now and again, sub nested level. This time we're going to select two. OK, now let's click update. And let's go back to our front end. And as you can see now, they are of equal height. Now let's apply this method to another section now. So let's scroll down the page. And again, as you can see, this one is made out of four different columns. One, two, three, four. And each column contains one widget. So as you can see, this these are info boxes. OK, so what we want to do basically is to have these of equal heights. And for this, we need to select the main container in which those four different widgets are located, which is this one here. So if we click on that, as you can see, this is an inner section. And now we can go into advanced and we can select equal height and enable it. And again, now we need to identify which is our nested level and sub nested level. So for this, we go back to our front page and let's have a quick look. So if we scroll down here, we can right click on any of them, inspect. And there you go. This is our elements here. So if we scroll back up again, we're going to go upstream and find out which is our main container, our main Elementor widget container. So there it is. As you can see, it says here Elementor widget container. And now we need to identify which level it is that we need to apply it to. OK, so let's go and have a look. So we've just scrolled down. As you can see, we can see exactly on the right hand side our selection. So we've gone too far now. So this is the one we need to apply it to. So I'm just going to mark this. OK, so we're going to put a break here on this and I'm going to do the same with the Elementor one so we can clearly see what we're doing. So this is the one we need to apply it to. 
So as you can see, how many levels do we have in between? We have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So for this, we're gonna change our nested level to six, okay? So again, how many levels do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. And from the sixth level, how many sub-nested levels do we have? Well, it's the very next one, so just one, as you can see. We're going from this one to this one immediately, okay? So level one. So we go back here and we can select level one as well for our sub-nested levels. And now we can click on update. Let's refresh our page and let's have a quick look. And normally everything going well, they should all be of equal heights, as you can see now on our screen. Okay, so this was our first method. Now let me show you the second method, which is slightly easier. And this is using CSS classes. And for this, we're gonna use this section here, the blog post. And as you can see at the moment, they are not of equal heights. So this is what we're gonna tweak now, okay? So let's go back to our Elementor page. Let's scroll down a little bit and let's locate this section here. So as you can see with all these different blog posts, and again, they are not of equal height. So if you wanted to uh, adjust those sections, what can you do very easily? All you have to do is just to hover on top and select the main section, which is this one here. And as you can see, this one is a blog post. So this is a widget in itself. And now to make it easier for us to follow along and navigate between sections, we're going to enable Navigator here, as you can see. And you can put this anywhere on your screen. I'm just going to leave it there for now because it's easier for us to visualize what we're going to do, okay? Because with this method, you can target different CSS classes within different types of containers and different sections, multiple levels, basically, okay? So let's locate this one here. So right-click on it and we go to the Navigator. So this is where it is. And as you can see, this is basically a widget, blog post listing. So these are all uh, part of the same widget. So now if we go back to our homepage now, and let's try to find out what is our class name, okay? CSS class name. So let's right click on one of those sections, inspect. Okay, so now we need to find out which section we need to apply the equal height, okay? So let's go back here. And as you can see, if we hover on top of each section, it will highlight the section on the right hand side. So this looks like the perfect section for us. So this is called post content bottom, which is most likely the one that we need to uh, apply the equal height uh, feature on it. OK, so let's copy this name here. So this is our class name post uh, content bottom control C. So let's go back here and now we're going to go into uh, equal height. We're going to enable this and this time instead of div level we're going to select unique class and this is where we're going to enter our unique class id so we're going to type a dot followed by the name of that css class okay so dot post content bottom and now we're going to update and let's go back to our front end and let's scroll down our page and normally again everything going well there you go as you can see they are all of equal heights and now let's put this to the test with the previous section that we worked on this one here but this time we're gonna create an equal height section using the css classes okay so if you right click on this inspect so let's have a look so this is our content 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 and this is our section there it is now if you click on the plus sign here we can select this on so copy very good. And now we go back to our Elementor page. There you go. So we select our section here. We're going to advance and we're going to enable equal height. And this time unique class. And we are going to paste our code here, our CSS code. There you go. And now normally it should be of equal height as well. So there you go, guys. As you can see, they are all of equal heights. That's it for now. If you liked and learned something new in this video, feel free to share with all of your friends and make sure to hit the like and subscribe button so that YouTube knows that you love this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.